So I thought I would film a video today as it is 25 past five and I've just finished work. Um, I'm in London, but there has been a few issues with location. So I'm staying in a hotel, um, I stayed in a hotel last night and I'm staying in a hotel tonight. So I thought I would go do some shopping on Oxford Street. Um, so I thought I'd take you along with me just so I don't feel so alone. So I stayed here last night because I do have to be in work for 8am every day. So yeah, I stayed here last night and then I'm sitting here again tonight. So I thought I'd just take you along with me. Um, I've literally just got into the hotel from work. So I'm just going to pop some trainers on and a jacket. I'm not even going to bother getting changed because I'm quite comfy in this to be fair. And the tracksuit that I brought with me is that Zara one that was in one of my recent hauls but it's so thick and the material's amazing but at the same time it's probably a bit too hot to wear in and out of shops. It's not too cold in London at all to be fair. I'm wearing my coat and I am quite a fast walker anyway so absolutely boiling. So yeah, I thought I'm just going to pop some trainers on, pop a little mini puffer coat on. I'll show you my outfit in a sec, what I wore to work today. Um, and yeah, and then let's just go do some shopping. I'm going to get the tube, I might go into Primark first, see how busy the shops are. I need to try and find somewhere to have dinner on my own. <laughs> so yeah, please ignore the absolute shambles of a room in the background. I just thought I'd show you what I was wearing today. So I've got on this little sweater vest kind of jumpery not too thick um top from primark on i don't think this top was six pounds it's so stretchy and comfortable it's just literally a black top got little buttons on the sleeves really comfy and i've tucked it into this vera moda um skirt it's just literally like a black silky material pleated and yeah and then i wore those loafers and like my black jacket but i'm gonna go out just in this because i'm just wearing it and it's comfy um so i'm just gonna put my air force on and a little black puffer coat yeah so basically since i've moved here i've done nothing but go to work and go back to a really shitty apartment that i was in so i thought tonight make myself feel a little bit better and i'll go out and explore london a little bit aka shopping so yeah, obviously I'm on my own and I think I'm going to be more depressed and lonely if I just sit in this very minute hotel room all evening. So let's go out and do some shopping. Um, we have a Primark back home, but it is shocking. So I want to make go in Primark. Um, I always say to go, I want to go to Topshop because I used to love Topshop on Oxford Street, but obviously that's not there anymore. So Zara's, there's about a thousand of them. Go in Zara. Might do a bit of Selfridges. Yeah, I'm just gonna go up Regent Street and Oxford Street and um, yeah, just do a bit of shopping really, see what I can find. Don't want to spend a lot, so it's gonna be more just browsing, but nothing wrong with that. Just thought I'd show you the final outfit. So I've literally just got on this puffer coat. I got it from Zara the other day, actually, it was £45. Really comfortable, has pockets here, love it. And then I've just got my trusty Air Force on. <laughs> I've taken all my makeup off, done my skincare and I've put my pyjamas on, which are from Sainsbury's by the way. I think they were like £12 maybe, maybe less and they are so, so soft. They're literally one of the softest pyjamas I own. So yeah, if you're interested, these are from Sainsbury's. Uh, yes, I am wearing Christmas pyjamas in October, but they're comfy, okay? So that's basically why I'm wearing them. However, I just thought I'd show you what I actually got in the end. It didn't quite go to plan, to be fair, because um, 
I didn't realise Oxford Street would be quite so busy on a Thursday evening. Um, I didn't realise as well that it's obviously school half term. So, um, yeah, all the kids are off, so it's really busy. And London is just busy anyway. So, yeah, that time definitely wasn't the best. Should not have done that. But I just thought I'd show you what I got anyway. I managed to go into Lush, Zara and Bershka. I did actually want to go to the Primark, but it was too busy i was too hungry and it was not going down very well um i was getting really hangry which is not good so yeah so i didn't get a lot but i'll just show you what i did get because i was quite happy with the stuff i got other than the fact that i couldn't be asked to go in the changing rooms so there's some of those that fit so after work tomorrow i'm gonna have to rush to oxford street to take the trousers back because i won't be in london now for like another week week and a half so yeah so yeah anyway i'll just get on and show so i'll start with lush um lush have changed their little bags actually they're a lot bigger um and they're just like paper bags so in here i got i'm gonna get this everywhere but this is like a cinderella castle i think it was like why do I keep calling it a castle? Cinderella's carriage. Um, it smells unreal. To be fair, it's like <laughs> I'm trying to smell close so I can show you. But yeah, it's just like a very sweet smell, like quite vanilla-y. I just really, really like this. Um, so yeah, I just thought it was really cute. I'm pretty sure this is part of their Christmas range. Definitely did want to go more mad in Lush, but I did try to refrain myself. Um, so I, the only other thing I got was um, the Snow Fairy Bath Bomb for Christmas, obviously. Um, I do actually want to do a bigger haul in Lush over the Christmas stuff and give it all a bit of a try. But um, yeah, I just didn't have time to pick it all up today. So I just got the Snow Fairy one because I'm absolutely in love with it. It smells so, so nice. And yeah, love the Snow Fairy range. So I just got that. Um, I'll just tell you the prices of stuff. So the You Shall Go to the Ball, it's not even called Cinderella's Carriage, was $4.95. Um, and Snow Fairy um, Bath Bomb was $4.95 as well. Next is Bershka, where I actually picked up a really nice outfit that I love. So I'm so gutted the trousers don't fit me. I just got this jumper. Um, it is in a size small. I would recommend maybe sizing up with this. I mean, I would usually say I'm an extra small, but it's cropped as it is, but it's quite tight. So yeah, I went with a small, thank God, because I didn't actually try any of this on. And it was £27.99. So quite expensive for a jumper, but it's such good quality. It's really, really thick material. Um, yeah, like I said, it's a little bit cropped. But yeah, I just thought this was really cool. Um, so it's just like a cow print, obviously brown is so in this autumn winter and yeah it's just really comfy so i really like that and the camera is making these look a little bit like camel but these are just as brown as the top and they're like brown wide leg kind of jean trousers really like these i really wanted to find wide leg jeans and i'm having this issue where I'm used to skinny jeans, so they're obviously a stretchy material. However, the, all these jeans aren't. So my problem is that where I've put on weight, I've got so much extra fat on my hips and bum, but my waist is still quite small. So I usually I am a six, but so I got a six in these, um, and these were twenty five ninety nine, which I think is a great price for these jeans. By the way, the quality is really good, but obviously as they're not stretchy, I'm finding it really difficult to fit in a size. So yeah, I'm gonna go back and get an eight hopefully because I know I won't be a ten. So I'm just hoping that an eight fits. Otherwise, I might have to really struggle um, and just give up with these jeans. I'm trying to find wide leg jeans with my jean issue. Um, yeah, not great. But so I'm gonna have to send them back. But the like overall quality is amazing love the color would look so nice as an outfit but yeah it's just gutting about the size finally i could have gone a lot more mad in zara but i did try to refrain and the keys are just way too big Um, i just bought this on those little like um uh, kiosk where you like do it yourself but yeah this bag was only 20 pounds and i just love it like i really needed just a big tote bag um for work and um, when i am down in london i can shove more things into this so it just has these two little pockets and then it has like 
a suede detail on the inside and um, but yeah this was the only color they had left uh, i mean this is the only version they had of this color left um so yeah so it has a little like tie bit here to like pull it together and then obviously it has a little button to do <laughs> i'm trying to look for the camera to do up there um but yeah i mean look i think it was literally 19.99 um, yeah, nineteen ninety nine, and obviously they did actually did it in a black and um, like a beigey colour. But yeah, I just really wanted the green. I think I love this colour at the moment. Green's really, really in. Um, and yeah, just thought, perfect.